Hello and welcome. In this presentation, I will explain what Observation 4 assignment will consist of. For Observation 4, we will be introducing technique number 4, which is event sampling. Event sampling is a type of observation or an observation technique in which samples of an event typically an observable behavior, are collected in order to better understand why that behavior occurs. Through event sampling, we can determine the behavior's causes and the behavior's effects. So it'll come very much in handy when we are trying to understand why a child behaves in a certain way and what triggers that behavior. For, for our focal child. So some examples, and these are not all inclusive, but they're just some examples of events that could be collected through an event sampling uh, technique of observation. So we could collect evidence of a child's misbehavior or aggression toward other children, for example. Or maybe we are interested in seeing the child's literacy skills, so we can collect displays of emerging literacy skills for the child or we could collect examples of uh, events in which the child positively or um, accurately, successfully resolved conflict or negotiated conflict in order to arrive to, to a resolution. For event samplings, we are going to use the ABC format. So the ABC format is easy to remember because of the acronym ABC. And in the ABC format, the A stands for the antecedent or the event that occurred or took place immediately before the behavior happened. B is going to stand for the behavior itself, the behavior that we want to observe. And C is going to stand for the consequence or the events that took place immediately after the behavior was observed. So for example, perhaps you have noticed that your focal child cries frequently when she's playing at the dramatic play area. And you're puzzled and you don't really know why this is happening and you're wondering, well, what could be causing her to cry every time she's at the dramatic play area? So that would be a really good behavior to select to observe through an event sampling kind of technique. Another example would be for, for, uh, that your focal child gets into trouble often and has to sit out of activities while he thinks about what he did. And you want to know what triggers that behavior so that you can prevent the misbehavior from reoccurring and help the child stay within the learning activity and enjoy all the fun learning experiences that are occurring in the classroom. So that's another kind of behavior that would be really good to observe through event sampling because you could identify exactly what is happening before that misbehavior occurs and you could identify what happens after the uh, misbehavior occurs, if it's, it's a misbehavior. You don't necessarily have to be focusing on a negative behavior to use event sampling. You could be trying to identify other skills, positive skills that the children uh, or that your focal child is enacting and wanting to know what causes that positive behavior or that positive action so that you can help make that positive action be a reoccurring event. Right? So for example, you want to know what causes a child to participate during uh, circle time. So during story time, circle time, a whole group activity, you see that your child sometimes participates and sometimes does not. So you're going to focus on the behavior is when the child participates during whole group activity, circle time, or story time. Right? So that would be your behavior and you're going to document through event sampling everything that happens before the child participates during circle time or story hour and everything that happens 
after the child participates. And every time the child participates, you're going to document that into your event sampling format. And in looking, going back and looking at the data collected, you will be able to identify what is causing her to participate and what is um, occurring as a consequent uh, as a consequence after she participates that could promote her to continue to participate or that could inhibit and hinder her participation. So again, the, the behavior does not necessarily have to be negative. It could be a positive behavior that you're trying to also understand how or why it occurs. So the assignment for this week, observation four, which you're submitting this week, week seven, is asking you to do the following. One, you need to decide on which behavior you want to observe for your focal child, be it a positive one or a negative one, but you want to better understand why that is happening. Either to help the child recreate or reproduce that behavior more often or, or help the child stop the reoccurrence of that behavior. And also to better understand the child's development around that behavior or skill that you're observing. So that's the first thing. Decide which behavior you want to observe. Two, you're, you're going to use the template provided and the ABC format that we just spoke about. And you're going to record at least five examples of the behavior you decided to observe. And I'm going to show you the, the, an example of an event sampling using the template that we are going to be using. The third thing that you're going to do is going to is that you're going to analyze your observation and write at least one developmental inference that you're drawing from all that data that you collected. So all of those five examples or events of behaviors of the behavior that you observed are going to be your data. You're going to look at that data and you're going to try to analyze it and interpret and, and make a, uh, at least one developmental inference in terms of what does this mean for the behavior for this for your focal child. And the last thing that you're asked to do is to go back and make sure that you reread and you evaluate your event sampling observation for objectivity and lack of judgment and assumptions. So make sure that it is descriptive, that it is uh, concrete, that it has a lot of details, and that there's no uh, preconceived notions that are being uh, portrayed in the observation itself, in the event sampling itself. In the analysis of the observations, you can make inferences and you can use what you know about development for the age and the stage of, the, of development of your focal child to make inferences and to make interpretations of what that means um, for the development of, of your child. So the template that we're gonna use looks a little bit like this and it is going to be or it is attached under uh, assignments, observation four. You'll find this blank template and it's a Word document so you can type and write within it. And then you're also going to find in that same area an example of an event sampling done with a child. And this event sampling example was done by a parent with their child at home and I'm going to walk you through it so that you can see what the um, events being observed look like and then what the analysis in terms of observation looks like. So we're going to move to that Word document now. Okay, so this is our sample of event sampling or an example of event sampling. And this one was done for a child named AJ, and the observer again was this child's parent. This child is two years, two months old, and that's their date of birth. And the date that this sample was collected was December 4th. You don't need to collect all the events or all the examples of the behavior on the same date. This one happens to have been collected like like so just all in one day but you don't have to you could be observing your child over a series of days or at different points in the same day and still collect your event sampling so every time the behavior that you want to observe 
occurs, that's when you're going to be collecting um, observation notes in your event sampling template. So the place was the home and the reason for the observation, and this is going to be very important because it's going to guide you into what is it that you're going to observe? What is it that you're going to jot down in the A and the B and the C columns? So for this child in particular, the reason for the observation was to gain insights into AJ's feelings of power and independence. So every time that AJ emitted a behavior that conveyed feelings of power or that, I, or that were evidence of um, his or her independence, the parent was jotting these down, right? So again, if you want to observe your child, um, how your child, focal child relates to other children and how they demonstrate kindness and compassion towards others, that's the behavior, that's the reason for the observation, that's the kind of behavior that you're looking for in order to jot down in your observation. Here, the kind of behavior that this observer was looking for was demonstrations of feelings of power and independence for this child. So you see that the first column is time. And you're going to jot down the time in which you observed this uh, ABC sequence, right? So the first ABC sequence observed was AJ saying, I have to go potty. The dad saying, okay, let's go potty here. And AJ saying, no, potty upstairs. So that's happened before, right? The actual behavior in which we see feelings of power and independence is in the, in the third column or column B, where the observer explains, goes upstairs on her own. So AJ goes upstairs on her own. That's the independence behavior, right? If you continue looking down uh, column B, you're going to see all the behaviors of independence. So goes downstairs on her own, gets own juice from cup, walks upstairs on her own, sings songs by herself, brushes teeth independently, pulls down pants and uses potty by herself, pulls up pants and walks away. Right, so all of those are evidence of independent behavior. So that's the behavior that we're trying to observe. What we're doing with columns A and column C is looking at what happened before that behavior and what happened after that behavior. So you can go through this. Uh, again, the example is under assignments, under observation four, you're gonna see this document uh, that is uh, titled event sampling example so that you can see and read through this carefully and see what the event sampling looks like or for this example specifically but then at the end you see the analysis and here is when you want to start thinking about okay well what does this mean i have all of these points of data that i've collected what does it mean in terms of development? So in the analysis section, we see that the observer said AG was, AJ was proficient at doing a variety of tasks independently. I noted her use of a forceful no was followed by a productive and autonomous act, which was a source of pride for herself and for her parents. The consequence of her actions proved to be naturally rewarding, thus requiring little external praise. So we're, you can start making inferences of what this child, how this child is exerting her independence and how the acts ex themselves are intrinsically motivating for her. So she doesn't need external motivation or external praise because the act of being independent and being allowed to do things on her own are the reward. And that makes her feel good. It makes her feel autonomous. It makes her feel productive. Um, and thus is prompting her to be uh, more and more uh, independent in the future. Okay, so that is it. I hope you find the documents that are in the assignment section under observation four. The template is going to be there. The uh, example, this example is going to be there as well. And it's going to help you complete your assignment, which is due during week seven. Let me know if you have any questions.